Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today, we're going to be playing a game called Namalia. Yes, this game is designed by William Levan and published by Lucky Duck Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, players are going to be drafting different animal cards with different terrain to try to build out their own nature reserves. That's right. It sounds simple, but it's actually a tough balancing act because there are a lot of different animals and they all have different needs. Mm -hmm. And so as per usual, we are going to start with a quick teach of the game and go straight into our two-player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include time stamps in the description below. Now if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Namalia. Welcome to the start of our nature reserves. This is the start. Yeah, right here. <laughs> now the way that the game works is we have a deck of cards and the cards look like this. They all have four different spaces that'll have uh, one of four different types of terrain as well as different types of animals. Mm -hmm. And so the game is played over the course of five rounds Rounds, and each round, we're going to be scoring either two or three different objectives, depending on the round. And they're all displayed in the center here. By the way, each game, you're going to play with one of the different uh, colored objectives, and the game comes with several of them. So every game you play will have a different set of objectives that you're going to be scoring. And they're going to be things like two points for each uh, distinct rainforest area, mm -hmm. or three points for each column in your reserve that has exactly one penguin in it. So then in round one, we'll be scoring the blue and green objective in round two, green and yellow, in round three, red and blue, etc. And so at the start of each round, we're going to be drawing uh, three cards from the deck mm -hmm. each. And then we're going to be drafting a card and placing it in our reserve. So the way that that works is we're going to simultaneously select a card from our hand, place it face down, and then simultaneously reveal it. And that is going to be the start of our reserve. Mm -hmm. Then depending on the round number, we're going to be passing the rest of our hand to either the player to our left or the player to our right, and then continuing drafting in that fashion until we've drafted three cards. Now when starting with the next card onward, when placing a new card in your reserve, you must always cover at least one space that is already in your reserve. You're never allowed to tuck under. It always has to be over a card. At least one space. At least one space. Now, you can also just completely cover a card if you no longer want it there. Yep. But one of the rules that you have to abide by is your reserve cannot go um, larger than a six by six area. And so you're gonna be counting these squares when uh, considering this size. Yeah, so right now Monique has a one, two, three by one, two, three. Exactly. So then let's say I pass my hand and I draft another card and I end up playing this card. Sure. So once you've played all three cards in a round, then you end the round by scoring the objective cards for that round. So if it were the end of the first round, then I would score two points per distinct rainforest area, which it looks like I have three, right? This area here, as well as this and this, mm -hmm. because an, an area is uh, orthogonally adjacent squares. Right. So because this is diagonally adjacent, this counts as its own area. So I would score six points for that objective. And of course, I don't have any penguins in my reserve just yet, so I would score zero points for the green objective. And you're not going to clean up your reserve from round to round, we're just going to be constantly building and building. And that's essentially it. As soon as you score the final objectives in the fifth round, then uh, whoever has most points at that point wins. So it's fairly simple. We're just going to go ahead and get cleaned up, and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Through. Okay, we have shuffled the animal deck. Uh, we are going to leave the same objectives from round to round. Mm -hmm. There is no turn order, so we just need to get our three cards each. And let's go over these objectives, shall sure. we? So uh, if you did not join us for the teach, the blue objective is going to be two points for each distinct rainforest region. So we're going to want to do that in the first round, as well as the green objective that says three points per column in your reserve that have exactly one penguin. Right. So if you have two penguins like this, that is zero points. In the second round, we're going to score the yellow objective, which is going to be six points per savanna region that has exactly four squares. Mm -hmm. So again, the regions have to be orthogonally adjacent, but it doesn't matter what the shape is. So right. this would score you six points. Mm -hmm. In the third round, we're going to be introduced to the red objective, which is going to score your points depending on how many giraffes are in your reserve. You don't want any. Because you have zero giraffes, you get eight points. Ah. Now, the thing that's neat about this objective is since it's scoring in the third round, you can have giraffes in the first and second round. You just need to be able to cover them by the time we get there. It sounds right? like uh, we're going to be passing each other giraffes towards the end there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this one is kind of in contrast or competing with this one over yes. here because they have the same background. Yes. So we'll see where this goes. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for round one? Let's do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. We're going to draw three cards each. So here are my three. Oh, that's my two. Two. <laughs> there you go. All right, perfect. 
All right, so then let's go ahead and, and we're going to simultaneously choose one and we're going to pass the rest to our opponent. All right, I am ready. Same. One, two, three, Flip. reveal. Okay. Right. So this is a perfect card for this situation right now. So I have two distinct rainforests uh -huh. and I have a penguin. <gasps> ah, I just have two rainforests, yeah. no penguins yeah, so far. All right. All right, so we go ahead and pass. Yeah. And we're gonna choose another card. Mm -hmm. And again, you must cover at least one space in your reserve. Okay, I have mine. All right, one, two, three, reveal. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do this. So I don't know how I wanna cover it <laughs> because I'm, I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna do with the Savannah by the time we get into the, the third round, round here. Yeah. Or the next round, actually. So I guess I'll just do this. There we go. So I have a penguin now. There you yeah. Go. yeah, very good. All right, pass the last pass, card. You and must play this one. Play it. So what did you leave me with? Oh no! <laughs> Too shady. Oh yeah, I left you with those giraffes. Maybe you giraffes. can use them later. I guess I'll we don't like this. need any ice flows. So boom. I'll just do that. <laughs> okay. Looks Final good. answer. I'm gonna move it over. Okay. So it looks like this. All right. That is the end of the first round. Yeah. We that's have three exactly. cards each. So let's yeah. go ahead and score. Okay. So in the first round, we're scoring the blue objective, which is two points per rainforest region. So you want to go first? So I have one, two, three, four. So wow. I'm yellow player. So we're gonna go to eight points. Okay. Okay. I have three. So six points six for points me. For Monique the blue. Sneaky. Excellent. All right, moving on to the green objective, which is three points per column with exactly one penguin. I only have one penguin. Same. So three points three each. Three and three. Okay, so I'm going to go to 11, and then you're going to go to nine. Yeah. All right. All All right. right. Okay. That is it. Quick. That's the end of round one. Mm -hmm. So very quick. Let's go ahead and move on to round two. If you're playing in higher player counts that are not two players, you would also flip this ring. So I'll just flip it. <laughs> Why not? But it doesn't matter because it just dictates a direction that you'll be passing your cards. In a two-player game, it doesn't matter. Yep. All right. So second round, we're scoring these two. So we no longer care about distinct rainforest regions. We do care, though, about uh, savanna regions that have exactly Monique. four squares. I'm there destroying the scoring area. Yeah. All right, are you ready? Yes. All right, go ahead and draw your three cards. Okay. We're adding three more to our reserve. All right, I am ready. Yep. One, two, three, reveal. Okay, so this I have a new right penguin right here, which I think I'll place here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is a break hard, up your savanna. hard decision. I don't want to cover. So now you have dictated one, two, three, four, five wide. You can only go one more to the left or to the right. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. But I now have a new penguin introduced into my reserve. Yeah. What do you have? Um, I'm just creating a little bit of a savanna, perhaps. Okay. We'll see what happens. Perhaps. Go ahead. I'm and pass. also five wide. Nice. There you go. Pass okay. your cards, and then we're gonna choose our next card. All right, I have mine. Ah, I don't know yet. Ugh, I'm giving up. A I'm giving up points to Naveen no matter what. Okay. Cool. I guess I'll go with this. Ready? Go. Ah, I knew you would take. There's only one um, Savannah card that I passed in the So I'm not going to get the thing. And I wanted to. Look at those giraffes. You're just going to cover them all up. I know it. I'm going to. Do I, I want to do that or do I want to put it here? Oh, uh, wow. I'm going to put it here. Yeah. So I'm moving everything down. I keep reorganizing I know, just my. Stick, stick with one plan. And my reserve. There you go. Just like that. Yeah, because I could always boom all the giraffes, yeah. right? Maybe I should move over everything. There we go. There we so go. So I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not going to grow any taller than this. I've already established the height, but I can go one more square over, I think, in terms of width. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ready to pass the last card? There you go. You I must, must play it. it. Okay. Penguin. I knew it. Useless. Nadine. I gave you nothingness. Um, <laughs> well, what's we're in round two. In round three, we're going back to the distinct uh, forest regions, so I don't want to cover... All right, I'm going to place this right in this little slot over here. Let's go ahead and slide things over just a little bit. There okay. we go. I think I'm going to move mine over, and I'm going to create my last... Uh, so you're... Are you in your 6x6 six six right now? I think so, right? Yeah, I think so. I think this is the 6x6, six six, so it's not going to get any... Wider. Wider or taller. Can we just make sure I'm doing this legally? Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. You've okay. created your uh, created. parameters. Yeah, I have. In the second round, that means for the rest of the game, I can only cover things that are pre-existing. I'm also in the same situation. Okay, good. I just didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Six by six. Okay, so that is the end of the second round. Let's so let's go ahead and up. score green. So I have two penguins, yeah, and they're same. each in their individual columns. Six. Okay, so you get six, so you're at 17, 17 and I'm at 15. Yep. 
Okay. And this is where there's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> so now we're scoring yellow, which is six points for each savanna region. That's exactly four squares. So I have it right here. Uh, that's going to be six points. That's uh, nice. I'm one shy. I'm one, two, three. My, my. How the tables have turned. There's well, no, the there was problem. no table to be turned. It just started. <laughs> the problem, though, is I have three giraffes. Yeah. Which is a big problem. I for think this you're gonna plop something down on those giraffes. Objectives. I'm gonna score zero if I maintain this giraffe chip. Field. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ready to move on to the third round? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Third round. We are returning to savannah, uh, rainforest scoring, actually. Distinct regions of rainforest as well as lack of giraffes now. Lack of giraffes. All right, draw cards. All right, One, I'm on two, no three. giraffes. <laughs> Monique's gonna pass me a giraffe. We're gonna be it. passing each other giraffes. That's what this round is yep. all about. Ready? Yes. All right, reveal. One, two, three. There you go. Oh, okay. we had some similar kind of ideas. We're so, planning on penguins. <sighs> yeah, but I just don't, I, I don't know where to put this go is put my this problem. Right there. I could, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, that seems good. Go now, like this that. is all just one rainforest, so it's it already is. scoring as, as so one I'm, rainforest. So I'm hoping that I can get another rainforest. I don't know. We'll see. Yep. Because it doesn't matter how many squares you have in the rainforest, it's still only worth two points. True. All right, passing these. Given? Choose Ooh. your next card. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, I am ready. All right, me too. So one, two, three. Oh, no, I've destroyed Monique ruined my... her ecosystem. <laughs> my reserve. But this is what I chose. chose so this? I think I will just cover up the last giraffe here. Wow, off they go. And now I have a new... Uh, forest region. Sure. And what have you left me with? There you go. There's your last card. Giraffe. Of course. Of course. So we're course, both going to have at least one giraffe. This. This is perfect because it gives me a new forest region and another penguin in a column, right? It does. All right. I'm gonna unfortunately do one, two, this. Three, four, five, six. One, two, so three. I'm completely covering that one okay. up, but I do get another forest. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and score this. So blue objective, again, this is distinct rainforest regions. Ooh, you got some good ones. I <laughs> have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ooh, right? Yeah, it's 14. 14. So uh -oh. 14 plus 21, is that 35? 35, yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't have that. I have one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, so plus 10. 10, so you are at 27. 27. I need to find a way to Boom. catch up. Okay, and then we have number of giraffes. So we both have we both one. both have one, yeah. One giraffe means we score five points each. Okay. So. You're at 40. I'm at 40. And then you're at uh, 32. 32. Yeah. There you go. All right, that Yeesh. is the end of round three. Moving on to round four. Okay, in round four, we're looking to score the whole giraffes thing again. But yeah, we, we want have, a four savannah. We have and, three objectives. Yeah, and we also want the penguins still, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is where the problem begins yeah. because you want to have savannas that are four, in, four uh, in size because they score six points, but you don't want them to have giraffes. Right. And you also want to maintain your penguins. So you're thinking about these uh, objectives the entire game, sure. right? All right, let's draw our cards. A penultimate round. Penultimate round, that's go. right. Things are, are uh, heating up in the oh last two boy, rounds, oh right? Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Ready? Yep. All right. Okay. These are kind of bad, so. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Reveal. All right. I have a giraffe I'm and a penguin. I'm completely cover this giraffe. There oh, okay. Go. Well, you've, you've covered that card multiple times. I did, yeah. <laughs> I did. I think I guess I'll do this. Oh, man, are you going to have a penguin in every single... Uh... This is a penguin reserve. <laughs> A penguin-themed reserve. We we do love our cozy birds here. Yes. So that's that. All right, pass. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, thank you. Oh, what is this? Yeah. All the cards were not good for uh, the scoring objectives this, this round. This is not good. Ready? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and place. That's I just have enough. another giraffe. Yeah. Casually. So I might as well I'm build sure out enough. this area here because maybe I can get to the fourth. We'll see, depending on what you pass me. There you go. There you go. All right, what did you give me? Last oh, card. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So <laughs> this one that you passed me is very similar to the one I just played. So I'm just going to literally just rest it right on top. There lots you go. and lots of drafts this wow. round. I'm just going to do this. How many drafts do you end up with? I ended up with three. Three? Okay, that's yeah. good. That's I, good for me. I really needed that. To I happen. said, you know what? Never mind about the draft scoring. Perfect. Three is zero points, huh? Yeah, three yeah. is zero points. I'm not going to yeah. score anything for that. That's good. All right, that is the end of round four-ish. Yeah. So let's go into scoring. Sure. So penguins. starting with penguins. I have one, two, three, four, Ooh. five. So exactly one penguin in the columns, well, right? 15, huh? So Three times five? Yeah, 15. Eesh. So what is that, 55? 55. There's a little chip so that's going to come out now. I go to five, and then I now have my reminder token. So I'm at 55. Ooh. All so right, I cool. guess I could put that underneath my scoring token. Why well, 
That might be difficult to move around, huh? It's just... I'll just put it there. <laughs> simple math, yeah. So, okay, I have one, two, three times three. That makes it nine. Okay, so you're at uh, 41. 41, yeah. There you go. Mm. Next, we have Savannah scoring. I only have one. That's exactly four. Yeah, same. In size. Four. So six and six. Okay. So I go to 11, 11 and you go to... 47. 47. I need a chit. I want my 50 chit. You're almost there. Almost there. Uh, giraffe scoring. I have one, two, three. So zero points. I only have one, which is good. So that gets me, what, five points? Nice. I get my yeah. chit. All you right. do. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. 52. 52. Okay. 52 to uh, 61 right now. Going into the final round. So this is going to be for all of the animal reserve so points. So penguins are not scoring <laughs> anymore. No. So you can cover your penguins cover as your you penguins. wish. Uh, round five is going to be scoring the... Um, forest. The savannah. Oh, the back to the forest. Back to the forest. Back to having distinct forest, which is good which for me. Which you were doing kinda. great on, yeah. And then, of course, the giraffes. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Last final one. round. Go ahead and draw round. your three cards. All right, one, two, and three. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, I am ready. <sighs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Flip. All right. Ooh, I'm basically just covering, covering up, up those the two giraffes. Giraffes, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying just to put that one right there. Get some kind of scoring. All right, pass. Okay. Next card. Okay, I have mine. All right. Ready? <sighs> one, two, three. Deal. Okay, I'm just going to... Do I want to mm. do this? What am I passing to you? I guess I could just do this. Oh, that's going to cover. Completely cover this card so that I have a new distinct forest. Something of the other. And no okay. drafts. I'll do that. <laughs> Is okay. that good? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Here you go. Final card. What, did you give me a giraffe? Boom. Uh, of course you did. Oh, you did not give me a giraffe. But maybe I didn't have a giraffe <laughs> to give. And you gave me another another forest region. Uh, I'll do this. I'm toast, aren't I? I hope so. <laughs> there, just like that. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Got my little cute forest pockets with my peekaboo uh, bears here. Oh, no. Did I make a boo-boo here? <laughs> I think I might have made a boo-boo. If I put this here... Yeah. Then it's just one huge savanna. It has to be exactly four. Yeah. So I think I have to do something like this, which is covering up points. Okay. I have to do it. I don't think I'm going to make up ground here. <laughs> there we go. It's a hard balancing hard act, one, yeah. right, Naveen? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go into scoring. So round five, you want to start with the the blue? Sure. Yeah. All right. Distinct forest regions. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's one, two, three, four, five still. So 10 total. So now I'm I'm just ahead by one. Twelve. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you still maintain that seven, yeah. So four fourteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that what is that? Fourteen to twenty-five? Yep. Okay. Seventy-five total. Seventy-five. Okay. Uh next we have do you want to do Savannah's, giraffes? right? Oh Savannah's? Yeah. Okay. So I have one. I have two of them. You have two of them. I do. You have well, two, that, that, you do. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's going to make up <gasps> so the difference. Good. So that's a uh, twelve. That's that's twelve. So you go to twenty four. Twenty four. I have one, so it's <laughs> six. So I go to thirty one. And finally, giraffes. Do you have I none? have zero did you get, giraffes. You got to none? Yeah, I have one. To be fair, I passed you a draft. You did pass me a draft so. at the end. <laughs> you I didn't know. have much control over that. I had no control. So I go to 39. Nine. Did okay. you go to 89. And then I get five. And you get five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, Boom. That is it. 79. I got 79 and you got, what, 89? 89. 89. So 79, 79, 89. 89. That's it. There you go. That is it. That is Nimalia. Yeah. We have built out our reserves. That was a good... Uh, Forcing me to take certain cards. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. And you did it to me anyway. To be fair, if you had those drafts earlier in the round, you could choose to take the draft, place it, and then just cover it up yeah. later. So there was some of that. But I think I had a whole hand with all drafts cards. Every we single time you passed me stuff, there was drafts going on. <laughs> yeah. So th there was times where I like completely just did a complete cover up of a previous card. Right, right, right. But still trying to maintain some sort of way to, to maintain uh, scoring. Exactly. So I think I got tripped up definitely uh, in round two, was it, when you scored Savannah's and I scored no Savannah's. Yeah, the so six that's, points. That's just big. straight up six that I, I could uh, I had trouble catching up on. So, right, right, yeah. right. And every game is going to play differently. So our challenge is this game. We're trying to balance the, the drafts and the Savannah's, definitely. Yeah. There's some uh, cards that uh, have rivers. So yes. as you can see, there is water. So sometimes you want to have a long flowing river. Mm -hmm. The person who has the longest river gets five points in a higher player account. Uh, second most gets uh, two points. So yep, exactly. things like that to kind of keep track of. And while we're on the topic of these scoring cards, the way that these work is they're double-sided, but they're not the same color 
on each side. Mm -hmm. So you'll have a different combination of them. It's not like a deck of green, a deck of red, etc. They're all double-sided with different combinations. Yep. And there's a whole uh, wide variety of scoring conditions that you'll see. Some of them require you to have uh, certain animals orthogonally adjacent to other ones. Or of course, like we saw here with uh, numbers of squares, I guess, yep. in a certain region. So there's a wide variety. And like Naveen was mentioning, there are um, objectives having to do with the rivers, which we didn't get into at all. Mm -hmm. And if you're playing with uh, certain experience levels of players, they're also rated in terms of levels of difficulty. And that's going to be by the number of leaves in the corner. Mm -hmm. So I think we we played with a mix of them. Yep. If it's your first game, there's also a set of them that you can play with for just the, the very first time you play the game to make it simpler. But that is Namalia yep. in a nutshell. There you go. That's it. Uh, plays about 30 minutes, roughly, mm -hmm. on the box. Um, everything's simultaneous, so it kind of goes a little bit smoother. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, thank you all so much for watching our playthrough. If you have any questions about anything that you saw here, please feel free to leave us a comment down below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.